Hey family, welcome back. I know you guys are familiar, or most of you at least, with the proofs of the Red Sea crossing that happened and is mentioned in the Bible. The chariot wheels, the horse hoofs, the coral encrusted human bones, all of these things, the artifacts that are there at the bottom of the Red Sea, just like they should be, and at the age they should be as well. And these things impressed me several years ago, they still do. These are things that just paint a picture of how dumb mankind can be, but history repeats itself. We are all what feels like being called out of Egypt again, and there is a battle that's going to take place again, and many will perish like sheep to the slaughter. But I came across some evidence of this that goes in addition with what you've already seen, and it has to do with something that reminds me of this film of the Ten Commandments that my dad had us watch when we were little. We sat through it and it seemed like that movie lasted for days, but I was glued to the screen. And one scene in particular that was really impressive was the flame that they added in. This was before computer animations. This is a really old film. And this pillar of fire is of course mentioned in the Bible. I'll leave some scriptures in the description so you can see what I'm talking about. But this pillar of fire was something that I didn't realize we had proof of. The artifacts are one thing, but I found this video and it's kind of gone viral. It has over a million views, almost a million and a half, of where this pillar of fire touched the ground. And if you're familiar with what happens when sand is superheated, it becomes like glass. Well, you have exactly that right here on the shoreline of the Red Sea where the crossing happened and it looks like some sort of magma that's hardened out but this is melted sand and when he elevates the camera and moves it around you're gonna see some really fascinating scenery let's skip forward a little bit right here check this out just looks like wet sand at first look at this rock fused into this looks like melted sand right here and you can even see here this looks like gravel but it's packed tight solid together one piece like concrete like it's been paved and it's and it has not been paved and this looks like a little puddle of water it's not this is solid like glass it's a smooth sheet of glass pretty much it's not ice and there's a stone right here that's been fused into this back when this happened. Amazing. I would love to go to this place. And here's this guy just chipping away at this historic piece of ground. I would just feel so bad doing that because this stuff's been frozen in time for centuries. But you can see, I mean, this thing here, the grains of sand. If I can see if I can find a good angle. So right here these grains of sands and stones just like melted together thousands of years ago this is definitely not a natural formation not something you see in these parts or any parts because it took some power some heat like a giant welding torch I mean that pillar of fire scared the Egyptians to where they were finally wising up and ready to turn away but it was too late the waters collapsed around them and that's why we have the artifacts today the water probably felt pretty good considering how hot that flame was to do what it did they had so many warnings and yet the Egyptians were so foolish I, I just it, it boggles me to think that that happened and that it seems to be happening yet again with all of us being set free from our slavery and the blinding lies of this world but there are those who are asleep and it's time to wake them up, show them the proof that we have, but pray for them, continue praying for them, don't make fun of them, be kind, be patient, and those who are meant to wake up will wake up, those who aren't, they just are not going to wake up. The Father knows who His elect are and those who love Him, and so seek truth. This is one of those things where you really don't have to seek that hard. Someone has actually captured this proof, and here it is. I'm sure there's some really cool things you could probably see with this. Maybe even like ancient footprints or something where some 
really dumb Pharaoh, <laughs> his people tried to run through this hot magma stuff here when it was hot and melted and seas were about to collapse. This is definitely one of the most awesome finds I've seen in a while outside of the firmament. This is one of those that just shows you the hands of the Father at work, similar to that. So find the grace and mercy that we don't deserve and it will set you free. I know I'm, I'm warning you guys that you need to be careful. He is real. He does hear you. He does love you. And when you seek him, you will find a loving father who is trying to set his people free. And the world is after his children, just like it was back then. Same foolish people controlled by the same foolish powers. And I wanted to pass this along before all these things get scrubbed from the internet, as you have seen happen in recent times with some really big channels just vanishing. It's heartbreaking. Modern day book burning. But the enemy is desperate in these last days to do what he can. So I'll be back soon. We've got some big events coming up. One of those is a local meetup that the Father has led me to host here. Inspired by the last one we had where our brother Simon sets this stuff up and had like, I don't know, 20, 25 people show up and all their children. And the spirit was moving like something I haven't felt in a long time. So I need to stop forsaking the gathering and actually get together and just let the spirit move. I don't want to plan anything a certain way and structure it all out. I just want to let the spirit move and people testify and ask questions and maybe bring friends who are not awake, which is really what got the conversations going at the last one. So um, I'll be posting information about that. Don't worry. The date that I'm aiming for is November 8th. I know that seems like a crazy time, but the sooner the better. The place I could not reserve it right before the elections because it's going to be too crazy. They're going to be actually using it. It's a voting precinct. And when they get done pretending that those machines work <laughs> and they clear the place out, it's uh, right two miles from my house. So it, it's, it's just the perfect place and it's cheap. If only one or two show up, no big deal. It's going to be fun fellowship either way. But uh, love you guys. We'll see you very soon. Take care, stay safe, and stay ready.